Hi YouTube, Tim Ungert here. In this video, we're going to install the Firefox browser on a Chromebook in 2024. The first thing we need to do is enable the Linux development environment. So I'll click on this launcher here, and I'm going to either search for my settings or I'll find the settings icon. I see it right here, so I'm going to click on that. And then on the left-hand side, we're going to go down to About Chrome OS. I'm going to click on that, and you'll see here I have Linux development environment. I'm going to click Setup, and now I can walk through this wizard that will help me out set up the Linux development environment. I'll click Next. It's going to give me a username, which I believe is based off your email and a recommended disk size. If you want to change the username, I'd change that now. The disk size uh, you can change either now or at a later point. If you want to change it now, you can just go to Custom and move the slider around. I'm going to stick with the recommended defaults and click Install. This is going to take a few moments to go ahead and install, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once the Linux development environment is installed, a terminal will pop up. I'm going to close out my settings and maximize my terminal, and I'll make the font size a little bit larger so you can see what I'm doing. I want to make sure everything's up to date, so I'm going to type sudo apt update, and then two ampersands, sudo apt upgrade with a dash y flag, and hit enter. This is going to go ahead and update everything, so I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, once everything is up to date, we can clear everything out, and now we want to install Firefox. And to do that, I'm going to type sudo apt install firefox-esl, and hit enter. And I meant to say ESR. Hit enter. There we go. Okay, so now firefox-esr, so firefox-esr. Okay, so it's going to ask us to take 394 additional megabytes of space. I'm going to say yes, hit enter, and that's going to run through and install Firefox, and I'll come on back once that's done. Okay, now that's run through, we can close out the terminal here, and I'm going to go back down to my launcher here, click on the launcher, and scroll on down to my Linux apps. Now if I click on my Linux apps, I see I have the icon for Firefox. I can right click and pin that to the shelf, and click to open. Okay, so we have Firefox opened up and it's ready for you to set up to your liking. You can run through, set it up however you prefer, but now you have Firefox on a Chromebook. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching.